Capcom's latest release, Exoprimal, has you mowing down swarms of dinosaurs, but it adds a unique twist. What's up guys, it's Adam from Let's Talk Nerdy and I've been playing the new Exoprimal and I wanna provide an overview and my thoughts of this game. So let's jump right in. Before jumping into the game, you'll have an opportunity to customize your character with some basic customization. Exoprimal is a team-based competitive story game essentially and your mission is to complete various objectives in the war games and the faster your team completes these objectives, the higher chance of you winning are. At the beginning of the game, there are objectives that you must complete before advancing to the final mission. Each match of the war games has different objectives such as eliminating a certain amount of dinosaurs and other objectives include capturing a data link while dinos attack you. The final mission involves preventing the other team from advancing to the end and they can also attack you while you're trying to advance as well. This mission typically includes a payload objective, point capture, or hammer charge. The payload has a health bar that decreases as the dinosaurs or other team attacks, and once it reaches zero, you must stay on the point for it to regenerate to back to full health. Another thing to note, the more teammates you have on the point, the faster it advances. The point capture mode has three different locations that you can try to capture to gain a higher percentage faster than the other team, and the team that reaches 100% first wins, and like the payload mode, the opposing team can attack you and capture the points as well as the dinosaurs. The other mission type in the final mission is the hammer charge. And this is where you must eliminate a certain amount of dinos to charge your hammer and break down a barrier to advance. When in the final mission, each team will have an opportunity to summon the dominator, which grants you control of a large dinosaur to attack the other team. This can be huge when trying to catch up to the other team or stop them from advancing. As you complete more war game missions, you unlock more pieces of the story and the secrets along with it. Without giving major spoilers, essentially you're trying to escape the island that you crash on and to do it, you have to collect more data from the war games. In addition to advancing the story, you also earn XP and in-game currency, which can be used for unlocking additional weapons, loadout modules, characters, and cosmetics. Currently, there are 10 playable characters that are divided into three different role types, and they all have different weapons and abilities. And the character categories are Assault, tank and support and each of these characters can be leveled up to level 20 which allows you to receive rewards as you do so and my personal favorite is zephyr who is a melee focused character who has a lot of mobility and speed however to win the war games team composition is important and there are times i've had to switch from assault to a tank or to support and this helps you win the matches each character is given a special weapon or what is called a rig and the rigs can be purchased as you unlock them through leveling up and your loadout perks can also be leveled up with in-game currency. Now that's basically an overview of Exoprimal but let's dive into my thoughts and we'll start with the bad aspects of the game or the aspects I think could be improved. Though the story is not a huge component of the gameplay I find it forgettable and the voice acting to be poor. The cutscenes were long and drawn out with information that was irrelevant. I began to skip a lot of them the more I played. Remember, enthusiastic participation is mandatory. A smaller bug that I have found, which I think is an Xbox store on the PC issue, is there are times when I'm in the game and won't log me in, and I have to quit out of the game, sign out of my Xbox account, log back in, restart the game, and then it allows me to play. Again, I think this is just an Xbox PC issue, not so much a game issue, but I just wanted to throw it out there. Another small bug that I did run into is when the dinosaurs wouldn't spawn when trying to finish an objective. And so what our team did is jump off a cliff and that just reset that objective and we were able to complete it, but put us at a very big disadvantage. Now moving on to the biggest drawback of this game and I think it is the price. But if you already have this on Xbox Game Pass, then it's not a big deal because it's included. But is this game worth $60? And on top of that, to start with all the characters, you have to buy the Head Start pack which is another $15. And on top of that, if you want the survival premium pass, you have to spend another $10. So that's $85. Oh, hell no. Which I don't think there's enough substance to justify spending $85 on this game or even 60 at the base game. So those are my negative aspects of the game. So let's move on to what I think is pretty fun about this game and the good aspects. The game is very unique and for the most part, I enjoy the PvE switch to PvP once all the objectives are complete. And one aspect I think is really cool is that you can play PvP 
PVE or have it randomized. So if you don't want PVP at all, you can set that as a setting, which I think is very good for the ones that don't like PVP games. So now the gameplay itself is very fun and fast paced and the pure rush you get when slaughtering swarms of dinosaurs is amazing, especially when the hazard is increased to the maximum and thousands of dinosaurs are spawning in and causing pure chaos, which I think is just awesome. And that is a huge plus of this game. I also like that each character plays a different role in winning the match. Having the right team composition can really make a difference in you losing or winning. And I just like the team aspect of this game. Overall, I'm giving Exo Primal a 6 out of 10. The gameplay and mechanics are unique and fun. However, I don't find anything groundbreaking about it. And with the $60 price tag, I just find it hard to justify unless you already have it on Game Pass. Now, let me know your thoughts on Exo Primal in the comments below. And what is your rating if you're already playing the game? Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the content, please tippity tap that like button. And if you want to see more of our game reviews or episodes that we release weekly, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see y'all on the next one. Peace out, nerds.